Yeah, huh? See ya. Swabby bastards, Goodwin! All right, welcome back to a brand new video. So, of course, they nerfed the Gladiator. They decreased its lunge to 1.3 meters, which is the same as the combat knife. Us melee players just can't have nice things. Although I will say it does kind of make sense because it is a small dagger. And also this weapon was the best in all categories, speed, TTK, lunge, and range. So there was literally no reason to use anything else. So as much as I am annoyed, I do understand the nerf. Now, today's gameplay was my first impressions using the nerfed Gladiator. And honestly, so far, is still pretty good and still has some tasty lock on lunge. We also got away with a 19 kill dub and had some solid fights. Finally, a special thanks to all the channel members. Your support really means a lot. If anyone else wants to help support the channel, please consider becoming a Sprinkle King or a certified Sprinkle today. All right, check this out. Boom, look at that, off the rip. Okay, so it's still just as fast as it was before, so they haven't changed the speed. Movement speed also feels pretty solid. Yeah, so it looks like the only thing they nerfed is that lunge, so we'll just have to get a feel for it. Boom. Nice and easy. Just what we like to see. Okay, um, I guess we just go for a nice leisurely boat ride for a little bit until we get shot at. Whoa, that guy just got downed by this kid. Yeah, he's on roof. He's just sitting up there. Let's go find out how good the Gladiator is now, after the nerf. Yeah, that had to be a stick in that situation. Ooh, that sniper's back up. There's two of them, look at that. This is solos, by the way. I just want to clarify, I'm playing solos right now. And there's two snipers next to each other, who don't even see each other. Right, i got to go back for those snipers. They must know that one another is there. Yeah, they're fighting right now. I was going to say, one of them took a shot, so that kind of gave away his position to the other. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, the times kill is definitely just as quick as before. I didn't really get a good feel for the lunge right there. Yeah, I see someone on the minimap just around here. Let's head up here, then. Whoa, yeah, 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 I felt that then. I swung how I would have before the nerf, and it didn't connect. So, yeah, that lunge is definitely rough. Okay. The lock-on lunge is still there. I definitely felt the lock-on lunge in that situation. Okay, you're gone. See ya, my friend. Um, got a guy back here I could push. Yeah, he's bottom floor, so... Okay, simple enough. And then we've got a guy on the loadouts, actually. He tried. There we go. Stuck him. Wait. Why did that still kill him? He literally went underwater. I mean, I'm no scientist, but shouldn't that have extinguished the flames or something? I hear people in here for sure. Roof. Damn, he stuck me. Right? What? Oh man, how is that? He was cracked. And yet I still wasn't able to kill him. That's so rough. It was weird because I heard the noise as if he stuck me, which is why I panicked a little bit. But looking back on the kill cam, he only hit me with a throwing knife. Definitely a strange fight. It's all good though. There's still time for a comeback. Yeah, there's a couple on the minimap just there. We'll push them. No! No! Okay. Yeah, see, like, in situations like that, the lunge feels fine. No. Missed the stick, but he missed his as well, so we're good. That definitely gave me a feel for how bad the lunge is now. Oh my god. He sounds close. Took a few thermites, but he's dead. Yeah, I feel a little bit less confident now with the Gladiator. I used to feel really confident using it, knowing that it was so good. I'm just not feeling that anymore. 
Okay, uh, 10 kills. That's not bad, but it's not incredible either. <laughs> I had to go for that, I'm sorry. I had to. Ooh, you missed your stick, but I hit mine. I think I just heard some guy landing in back on roof. Probably the guy I just killed, so... Oh yeah, I hear him. I don't know what you were thinking, but, but I don't really know where else we should be going right now, to be honest. I mean, that helps. Mission accomplished. Damn. Again with the lunge there. I definitely felt a decrease. No. Nope. <laughs> we both missed. Yeah, I definitely felt a decrease in the lunge right there, but the lock on lunge was still pretty solid. Okay, so he threw two Semtexes. That should be all of his Semtexes. Most people don't carry spares like I do. That'll kill him. <laughs> Either he came forward into my shield and died, or he walked back into the fire and died. Either way, I had him. Wait, what? No. Bosh. It's still good for finishing off players who are burning. I'll give it that. Good throw. I don't have many thermites at all to finish this game. I'd throw a thermite, but I don't want to waste the only one I have left, you know? Oh man. These guys are everywhere. Stuck him, that's good. Last guy, okay. Look, it's doable. Look, whether this wins me the game or not, I'm going to go for the gladiator kill because it's a gladiator video. It's what I have to do. Okay, I mean, look. We still got a 19 kill dub. That is my first game of the day. Back on Vondel since I don't even know when it was last in the game. Um, I've missed this thing. I have missed Vondel. It's a good map. The gladiator is still good. I'll say that. It still has the lock on lunge, there's no critical hit cooldown, the movement speed is still pretty solid, and the time to kill is really solid as well. So literally all that's been nerfed is the actual range of it, so even though the lock on lunge is still there, you have to be a little bit closer to get that first swing off. So as long as we slide into people and don't swing too early, we can still get that lock on lunge to guarantee the kill. So it is still a fairly viable melee weapon. Whether it's better than the Tonfa, I'm not really sure, but it did get us a 19 kill dub, so we can't really sniff at that. Let me know what your opinion is on the nerf in the comments down below, but thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one.